Okay, so this is top 32 TSDL season special. SCL versus something something Lumiere. All right, let's see. So SCL, um, he's currently playing three three tank box with land use, but rest of the box is pretty meta. So nothing really to talk about. He used to run Warner, but I don't see him. Instead, there's a a Lustreal there. Lumiere side, let's see. Uh, yeah, looks like pretty meta as well, I think. There's three tanks, including Landius. Instead, he has Warner is on his side. That's probably... Actually, it is pretty heavy debuffs. There is Reen, there's also Liquorus, Bozo, and there's the, the PM from the uh, his friend. Okay, so there's Odius. Who can buff mythical okay so other than that it is pretty meta i mean you can go like mythical debuffs right now which is fine if you want to go pure debuffs so yeah it's pretty much pure um aoe plus debuff aoe only thing that stands out is warner as his assassin and he is actually gonna pick up warner there so warner pick not bad you can easily kill that TGS right now. And I believe Warner is Empire. I think. But anyways, yeah, pretty good pickup right now. Uh, on this map, there are some trees on both sides. But he's not going to get too much movement like other maps. Which is basically the same for Lilith Trio. Mm. Okay. So he picks up burn here, which is fine as well. I'm not too confident whether Warner can kill burn through werewolves, but if you kill some of the werewolves, Warner can definitely go for burn as well. So that's not too bad. He's gonna get rid of the other healer with act again. Um, Elystrial, I don't think he's worried too much because he has Warner of his own. So he does have some zone control here. Most likely SCL is going to pick up a Lustreal. Because he can get buff from both TGS and Liana. But we'll see. He could pick up... No, most likely not Landius. Because the next pick was Bozel. And the last pick is either going to be... Green, Licorice... I mean, uh, it's probably going to be Odious. Because I feel like Green's going to get banned here. Liquor is probably going to get banned here. So, most likely, it's going to be Oldius pick for Lumiere here. Yep, so those two debuffs are banned, which is... Yeah, I mean, with just Liana, it just gets hard to deal with all the debuffs. But, I mean, it's still okay for Lumiere because he still has heal block and also Bozo follow-up. And now he's going to get his third AoE or second act again. We'll see which one. Four seconds left. He gets the act again. Interesting. Okay. Let me hide the screen real quick. So. So there are two or potentially three units vulnerable to Warner here. Illustrial, TGS, and Liana if there's no Mortal Light. And sniping Liana could be okay. Because then he can't deal with debuffs. The only thing is there's no magic guard, so he needs to be careful about TGS. Unless you can snipe that TGS first as well, which is okay as well. And in this case, I will probably bring Sorcerer some Bozo. Just because there's TGS and you're definitely not gonna die. I mean, you're probably not gonna die anyway. 
getting hit by TJS, but Sorcerer is probably, probably better. As somebody that you can tank with if TJS comes in. Um, Burn possibly gets one shot by TJS here, so he does need to be careful. Having two act again definitely helps him out. As a player too as well. SCL does have one counter act again. Yeah, so let's see. Okay, so he has push. Interesting enough, he brought the um, Templar Knights. But funny enough, Templar Knights get extra defense and attack against um, Burn, which he's using Werewolves, but at the same time, they're not too tanky anyway. So it's not really a counter. Templar is still gonna die to Werewolves. Well, not completely, but you're still gonna take good damage from uh, Burn. But in this case, it's easy for Hilda to go Cav. So Burn's not gonna do too much to Hilda, which is nice. Okay, let's see what SCL does here. SCL does need to be careful about the act against. And I'm curious who Lumiere will target with this Warner. If he banned out Illustrial, then he basically has complete zone control, but giving Illustrial last could be very good for SCL. He might teleport in right now. He's deciding, probably seeing which tile is safe. So he is going to teleport forward. And actually pretty good teleport too. Um, I think Bozo just needs to move here. I'm not sure if 3 range can kill Warner. Oh, you can't because of those soldiers. You can't. So only Bozo's in threat. So he needed to go a little further up. So the reason SCL is doing this is to get reaction out of your opponent. It's not necessarily to get a kill. If you can, that's good. So in this case, if your opponent doesn't move Bozo, that Bozo's dead. But yeah, good move. All Lumiere needs to do is move them. Move his Bozo. And he's fine. But he's thinking a lot, interesting enough. Oh, yep, he does move. Let me lower the volume a little bit. Okay, so the thing about the Elytral is now, you didn't really need to move Warner that far back, in my opinion. I mean, you have two act against, so you're pretty safe. So the thing about Illustrial is Illustrial safe. And since he has turn prior, he can even move out Illustrial for the kill next turn. But if you give act again to your opponent, as player one, it's very hard to do so. So it's very likely this Illustrial is not going to do anything this turn, so it's just going to move back safely. Unless Lumir messes up the turn order, which is very unlikely because he's still keeping his healers. And I would very much assume Burn is safe. Didn't look at the stats yet, but I assume he's safe. But Better safe than sorry, so we'll see. OK, 
Okay, so he's gonna buff. Give that faction buff to Florentia so she can get points. Okay, so 755 defense. Okay, so he's gonna act again now, which is just using up act again. This is also good because he can force his opponent to use act again this turn. Probably should use his Liana here. Save Florentius act again, unless he's planning to go in this turn. Keep his player 2 position. Because, I mean, this Jessica is not doing anything. It's just a uh, random act again. To pass the turn so that he can teleport and potentially attack next turn, which is nice. He is gonna act again now. Now, Elystrio might not kill Burn, but he just most likely will. The thing about it is that SCL can't do it right away because he chose to use Guard instead of Faction Buff this turn. Probably planning ahead because he didn't want to waste the Faction Buff on Tjus with act again, two act agains actually, so that there will be three turns. Well yeah, I mean it's pretty safe to... I'm not sure what the Warner's range is right now. But as long as you get out Warner range, it should be okay. One thing is though, just because he used teleport after the act again, he needs to move and then teleport. So he can't do like teleport and then attack, follow up attack with TJS next turn. Interesting move. Uh, I don't think that's the best move there. But he's scared of TJS for sure. The thing is, TJS does not have attack buff. So he doesn't need to be afraid. We'll see though. But going with burn like that is not the best move. So if if I was if I was Lumiere, I'll just give the movement bonus to burn with Florentia here. This game would be easy to control zone if you did not give a Um as a fit pick. And he doesn't need to position his units outside of the danger zone. You just have to position them where uh, it's okay to position your units within the three range of Elystrio because it's not going to kill. So he doesn't need to move his units that far back. He is kind of scared of that burn though. That burn I think got Breeze. Interesting position. He did give, he did give Rush to burn here. So burn can pretty much reach everyone now. With his 3C. Well, Hilda's blocking there though. Still hits. Well, that's not. Well, if he goes in now, he doesn't have a follow up though, right? Hmm. Not the best time to go in, I don't think. But he's trying to reach. But if Burn doesn't move, that Burn's probably dead to TGS right now. It's a tricky position.
only if he didn't position Bozo so far out, it would have been okay. But that Bozo is just too far back, which is, which is unnecessary. Same with Warner, way too safe. He could move burn all the way back and save his burn. But then he will just lose his advantage this turn. And what he could do is use someone like Burn to move up and then teleport Tijas anyway. So tricky situation here. Now if he does this. He is pretty safe from Tijas because he she lost most of her soldiers now. Safe from Illustrial as well. But the problem is there's just no follow-up, right? But probably is one of the best moves he can make given the situation. As that's why positioning in turn one is super important, especially these days. There's so many act against. There's teleports. There's units that have super, like uh, super increased movement. So in a game like this with no tank, you have to be super careful. Let's see what he does here. He might try to damage burn like this and then just try to kill with TGS, which should be pretty easy. And even Illustrial can kill. Warner not in range. Bozo one short. Um Florentia 3C is not gonna do anything. I think the best play here right now is move up his Bozo. Not in range up 2C or 3C from Illustrial and then just act again. Even 3C is not gonna kill, I think. He just lost too many soldiers there. And I'm, I'm assuming this is a Bozo with Bracers. Yeah, I would... This could be okay too, where you're just gonna get one unit, I think. Just because Liana has to use... Actually, Liana could wait, because Tijas is just going to kill Burn this turn. Or Illustrium. Now I guess he's going to act again Warner and try to kill somebody. I guess too close. Yeah, that is probably his best choice. So he's going to use Illustrium instead. Easy kill. I guess move back as well. Yeah, not many choices left. At this point, it's safe to move up Bozo just because Illustrial used 3C now. And that you could probably act again. Because Bozo should. Bozo's definitely safe from TJS. But he's gonna wait it out. There's no real reason to. He's just gonna move his units back out of Bozo range. So when Bozo does come in with Act again, it's not gonna hit too many. The most it's gonna hit is Hilda and Burn, it looks like. Because he's gonna move his Liana back as well.
Yep. Mm. Not gonna do too much. Oh, clock's nice though. Interesting. Actually, it does kill. Okay. Um, it is boots, and like I said, sorcerer is probably better at tanking magic. Um, surprising though. I did not look at his M death, but. When you lose Bozo to a mage, kind of sucks. I mean, it rarely happens, right? Because his MDF is so high. And Bozo's usually safe because of racers, and so you're immune to Twilight and you bring sorcerers. And, I mean, you can't even kill the sorcerers itself. So that's game one. SCL is up one game now. Just hiding, uh, hiding the screen. Box wise, I think it's safe. I mean, box wise is fine. I don't think Lumiere needs to change anything except for probably Warner, because it is a sky map, and Warner is not very good here. So I would definitely swap out the Warner. Probably for a different assassin. Or he could choose to go for like straight up AoE. Bring in more AoEs. Okay. We're back. Okay, so Rosen first ban, which is super popular these days, because of given how many AOEs and debuffs right now, pretty typical. Um, first pick Liana is also very typical, because she is the second best dispeller in the game. Kill the first pick. So I mean, he does have some side heal option. He does have liquors, and there's Juggler as a healer. If his Liana and Florence gets banned, just because um, he picked up a tank here, even though he has three tanks. So his healers do get banned, probably gonna pick up a diva for now, probably a Himiko or something, or it could be a burn. So he does pick up burn here. Still has three tanks, so he's not really worried there. Um, Yeah, Himiko and Ares I think are good bans here, very good follow-ups or initiator. Good bans. And he picks up Lickers because his healers get banned. And Lickers is fine, gets the Tensei buff. Decent healer as well. And one thing about Lickers, he if she's dedicated healer, you could choose to bring something like Mass Protect, which protects you from a uh, heal bomb. And you can keep it up for some time, just because you have transform, pass the turn, use it again. So for you know about like four or five turns, you're safe. And 
this map being really small, something should happen within those turns. Mario, pretty good. So, if your opponent plays some kind of assassin or someone like Mario, uh, Lumiere can choose to pick up Burn here, actually. And you can block the path. And there are pillars there as well. So, something like TGS, your team's really vulnerable now. But there are pillars, there's a choke point, so you can easily block out the path. And you can keep your mages safe from assassins. He's not doing that right now. So, he does have some units left here. He has Oldias, Landias, Burn, and Juggler, which he can choose to do. Juggler in this matchup is pretty bad. Burn and Mario both strong against Juggler. So probably not Juggler. But Landius is okay. Burn probably the best pick. Unless it gets burned right it gets banned right now. Oldius is not too bad either, because there's Elwin and Juggler left on the other team. Also very good against range attack like um Tijas. Which Tejas does not pick just because his first pick Hilda, but at this point, fifth pick Tejas is not bad. Just because of teleport, and you have three units that can make plays in this game, so not too bad. Oldius I don't think is too good here. Elwin could be okay, but I think Tejas is the best pick overall. But Elwin could be okay just because you can buff Mario. But you do have gospel here, not necessary. So he is gonna bend Tejas here. And Florentia, okay. Doesn't want to give two active guns. He doesn't have any. So this is okay. So another option is he does have Serida. Zerda, if it's built correctly and burn is not too tanky, you could one shot, which could be very hard here because of act again and juggler jump. You could block, you could also act again, try to jump first. So it's a little risky. If he somehow gets Zerda and burn, it will be a very nice team. So burn is, yeah, burn is pretty good. Burn is generally safe from Elwin as well, so even if you send him out to block the path, he should be okay to take the first hit. And Zerda here is good. I will pick Zerda for sure. Zerda can kill Mario and Burn. Okay, let me hide the screen real quick. So the Liquor is bringing heal block, not heal block, but mass protect is definitely an option if you're going to use her as a healer. Or you can choose to bring something like mass heal plus 3c, which is fine as well. Um, yeah, let's see, let's see. I think it's ready. Actually, it's not. So the thing about the even bringing mass protect is you still heal with heal tile on that turn. So you could choose not to just not bring mass heal 
and just use 3C as heal. Or you can just ditch 3C, bring mass heal and mass protect. But we'll see what he does here. It really depends. I mean... Okay, it's starting now. I mean, the there's a little bit of AoE combo. There's also single target threat from SCL, so it's definitely hard to deal with. Okay. So Juggler goes in. He has Master of Ice, so he definitely wants to overwhelm Lumiere with AoEs here. So potentially, or ideally, you want to use Burn first, heal block everyone, and then Juggler goes back in. Um, yeah, that's why I think Master Protect's pretty good, so that he can't do that kind of combo. And your units should be pretty safe if you block the choke with Burn and Hilda. Also in this case, I would build Burn as a single target. So you use like Hegemony, which is very good against Mario. So there's like a zero chance that Mario's gonna kill Burn, which I don't think she is anyway, which is one hit. We'll see. You wanna join Zelda? Okay, he's not gonna use his act again this turn. Um pushing his Zerda forward like that potentially very dangerous. There's zero reason to, right? Because he brought 3C and without 3C, Zerda's not gonna do anything. So what I like to do normally is put Zerda back when he when she faction buffs and then bring her forward. When she's ready because she has so much movement that you're going to get in range anyway to use 3c or alazar so there's no reason to move zerda forward it's just gonna increase the risk in case your opponent wants to make a turn one move with some kind of teleport like teleport or act again mario snipe zerda or something like that which in this game Unless you're sure that Zerda can one-shot burn, Zerda's not too big of a threat. Because otherwise, Zerda was going to trade for that Mario anyway. So, sending in his Mario to kill Zerda might not be the best choice. So, if it was a Stinger, and that burn has low enough defense, it's a guaranteed kill, most likely. Okay, he's actually putting his... Burn back as well, which is kind of strange to me. So Burn is one of the safest units forward. I mean, Burn's not gonna die to Mario, so... It should be the other way around right now. Burn should be where Zerda is, and Zerda should be where Burn is. Okay, he's setting up his Mario. Not in range yet. Now, one thing to know is he has T-Jess, and there is no magic guard. So T-Jess could make something happen. We'll see though. You there, Zelda? I don't hear you. So let's see what he does. I mean, pretty simple here. You can just guard. Um, interesting place to guard as well. Uh, burn can block. Yeah, burn has four move, so he can move up. So this is fine if that's what he's planning to do. Now, if you move burn there, 
you're actually in range now of everything pretty much you're in range of Elwyn you're in range of Mario you're in range of yeah juggler and burn so let's see so he's gonna act again now what he can do now is just move up his burn block move up his burn block that's all he needs to do that Mario's not gonna kill burn Move his burn up. Yeah, that's fine. And yeah, I'm not too sure about the uh, skill choices either. Hegemony is very good against uh, a sales team. It's very unlikely you're gonna land the combos and kill on the other team. They're all pretty tanky. There's a juggler. So, this should be very safe. But maybe this burn can't tank. Maybe the soldiers are not up there. I'm not sure. But usually it's super safe. Marion is not going to do too much damage. But now he can he cannot guard, okay. What he can do now is actually he can't even teleport because of the range. So in this case you can actually hit burn twice. I think he has to transform now and then use uh use three C from Liko. No no not that one. You have to transform so that when Mariel acts again, she's gonna get debuffed and damaged. Since she's gonna act again one twice. Yep. So you're, you're gonna get damaged and get debuffed. No, nope. you have to transform. Otherwise, that burns dead. Because it's not like you can even push that burn away. So, yep, he is transforming. And this is gonna cleanse the water. Now you can actually teleport Hilda back. So you're in guard range. Now, I won't should not be able to kill this burn either. Oh, there's a silence too, which is very nice on that Mario. Yeah, what's up? Yep. So Zelda's here. To join me. Okay. Let's see what's going on. Uh hmm. Yeah, so he just used 3C on Licorice. That was pretty much his only option here, because uh, you had to stop Mariok from coming in and killing Burn. Now, this stops several things, which is pretty nice, but still, SCL still has options here. He's gonna go for Burn, but this should not kill. Uh, shouldn't you try to. Does the Burn have Sword Dance? Yeah, I think that's what I would have done. Oh, it this, does this RNG, right? It depends if it uh, attack buffs the dispel or not. Oh no no! With the hegemony, you're not gonna dispel. In this case, he didn't bring anything. But it is on grass, so I guess it kills. I mean, usually. Is that, is that the difference? I'm not even sure what the difference is, to be honest. Usually, burn is enough to tank, but I'm not sure what the situation with the burn is. This burn could be five stars or. Maybe the enchant's not there, but it looked okay. It was like 700 defense. I mean, it could be trips as well. But from my experience, Elwyn just has trouble killing Burn. Usually, he just kills the werewolves. But I do bring hegemony, so now though, the only choice is he has to teleport Hilda, and then kill or he could just try to kill a uh, juggler oh uh when the dog jumped in why didn't uh jessica teleport 
What do you mean? I sort of missed the action. Oh, because like, of the no water. Because of the water. She couldn't teleport anyone. Oh, the water. Okay. Yeah. yeah that makes sense. She, she could only move one. Um, so if you teleport Hilda here, you cannot attack Juggler. You could kill one life of Elwyn, though. But then you're gonna get hit by a sword that's after, so which is devastating. You think uh, this dog can live, though? I think this dog probably dies, right? Jessica should have no problem killing. Yeah, I, I think so too. Uh, I think that's his best bet anyway. Yeah. Uh, maybe teleport and then do it for a little mm -hmm. bit more attack buff. Yep. Uh, teleport yeah. so that your Zerda can get a kill next turn. Yeah. In because case you have turn prio. Kill. Yeah. Teleport out of range. I mean, it doesn't matter where you send the Zerda because she has hide and seek anyway. So. Yeah, it has to be somewhere a little safe. I mean, this is normally right. a kill, so let's yeah. see. Yeah, easy kill. Yeah, it'd be a kill. What does Zerida bring? Does Zerida have... Well, oh, that's her? Oh, so it's not even set up to do anything. Uh, but that's the thing about Hellfire Archers. I feel like they just suck in general. Well, you do deal extra fixed damage, which is not too bad. You also heal extra after you kill. Uh, I feel like uh, it's more valuable to have the, the normal attack option with the bandits, uh, especially against like holy units like like Mario. Like this this Zerida can't even touch Mario um, with the Hellfires. No, no, no. Maybe if you bandits. if you Alos are it's a kill. You're not gonna okay. normal attack into Mario anyway. She's just too tanky. You have to Alos her to kill Mario. So this is game two. Winged. This is game two. SCL is up one. Okay. Now. Now, he has some targets here. Cause it says Elwin doesn't have revive, right? So you could potentially kill Elwin. You could kill Burn. I didn't see the Burn stats yet. I hope he clicks on that Burn. No, the burn should be be pretty dead too. Seven, right? yeah, that burn stuff. That's seven hundred defense. That's an easy kill. Oh, he he bought fireball. But okay. it might be it might be full moon. He did heal back to full, so it might. Yeah, the L one also looks dead. So. Oh, he did bring fireball. Uh, I think the burn's more. The, right? Yeah, this this should be a kill. Yeah, this should be a kill. Yeah. Yep, easy kill. So it's not looking too bad. Um, so the clutch was the liquor is silence, and actually last turn could have done gone much better if he was confident that his Jessica was gonna kill that juggler. He could have just killed that Jessica, and he would not lose. He, he would not have lost his burn. He's gonna do not much. Um, well, he could kill Zerida now with the second hit. Yeah, probably. But, uh, uh, maybe. Yeah, probably. Is it is it true? Uh, it, well, well, it's not no, EMB, no. so... Yeah, it's not EMB. Oh, yep. Okay. So that no EMB dead. means probably that. If it was uh, EMB, maybe it would have been a trade or maybe mm -hmm. even free kill. So uh, I would move sure Hilda now. Yeah. And just block. I mean... You got a guard, right? No, he still has... Does he? He doesn't he have guard. Eat. Yeah, so I think this Elwyn should have just killed Liquor. I mean, uh, Jessica. Now it's on the guard, because Zerda's not big as big as a threat as TJ. Uh, I think the Mario probably dispelled the guard with the Mjolnir. Oh, or something. oh, oh, that's that's. that's yep. Yeah. Because I mean, right now Lumiere has the advantage, to be honest. Yeah, he just needs to heal up a bit and then mm -hmm. start picking off his units. Yep. Because the Elwin's really bad against um, Hilda. Yep. And his Mario's dead pretty much, and TJ just needs to hit Elwin twice, pretty much. Yeah, just heal. Yeah. You'll heal up, play safe. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, st even staying away from melee range is also nice. In case that doesn't matter. Don't think it will, but who knows. Also having turn prior right now is very nice. So Just kill the Mario. 
Maybe I would have put Liquor's closer. Oh, Thorn's very nice as well. Because Liquor's, I think, can auto attack and kill this Mario, right? Yeah, I mean, let, let L1 attack. Let L1 you attack. think this Liquor's can auto attack kill Mario? I think so. Right? I don't think you even want to risk it. I feel, I feel it like it is kind of risky. You're in such a good position. Just just get the easy kills. Uh, even if it is a mega overkill, it doesn't really matter. Just yeah. get the free kills, uh, heal up, eventually you win. Because the thing about this Elwin is he can only move one. So he's only going to heal 20%. Now, mm -hmm. you could... It's going to deal some kills, damage here. Yeah, yeah. yeah, even if this kills is fine. Because yeah, now so you got, your Lictress can probably kill here. You should attack with Lictress 100% here. I will attack with Lictress first. Yeah, you, you, you might as well. Yeah. Um, well, you can even block the... the. Yeah, I mean, that intelligence is really high. That would definitely would have killed Mario. Unless it proc like Windwall or something. Uh, I even thought about even blocking. Um... And attacking from there that way. Oh, you mean block uh, Liana yeah. from healing? Yeah, I mean, yeah. Yeah, block and attack. And yeah, then yeah. You can have your uh, T Jess clean up the Elwin next turn. Yep. You might be a no, no, no. Dies. You didn't need to do that because if you block, then Hilda can finish Elwin. Yeah. Yeah, so. Uh, but uh, just in case uh, the, it didn't kill, actually. Okay. Yeah, this, this should be a wrap. Um. Uh, yeah, doesn't even kill. He can mass heal now, or he can just kill, finish off Ellen now. It doesn't matter because TJ is just gonna clean up. So, yep, not even gonna heal. Looks like he could play safe and heal, doesn't really matter. I don't think it's not like you can trap him either because he has teleport. He just needs to kill the Ellen and. Game over. Even killed the Liana is fine too. There's not much healing. And just because this Elwin doesn't have any buff, should be an easy kill. Just kill. Kill this Elwin. Even if Windwall procs, I don't think he can survive. Does does she have attack buff though? I see uh, plus one, I think it's damage buff. So that's kind of No, it should be okay. Should be uh, should be okay, intelligence. Sh should be fine regardless. Even yeah. if this doesn't kill, it's still game over. Yeah, looks good. Because he'll have torn priority to finish off the Elwin, even mm -hmm. if Hilda dies. Yeah, 1-1. One, one. Very well played. Um, Lumiere definitely played that well. One thing that could have been different was just teleport Zerda and then kill Juggler. So that he spreads the life that he'll be... He'll probably have 4 units alive. Yeah. Uh, you definitely gotta know your 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 kill ranges as a yeah. single target player. Because I don't uh, know. I'm not if familiar he's... with him myself. But um, usually, you if you know. have pale staff, it's pretty easy kill there. But with genius staff, it's uh, maybe a little uh, questionable. But yeah. But uh, I think it should be fine because a twenty percent attack, uh, damage up a T chest usually kills um, dog without yep. faction buff. So, uh, assuming that uh, last arc is broken, this should be a pretty decent kill as well. Yep. Gotta hide the screen real quick. Yeah, okay. so we should not be talking about the backup box, right? Yeah, we could talk about potential changes. Okay. So, game one, he used Warner. He swapped up his Zerida for Warner, but I'm not sure if he's gonna bring his Warner back. Werner is pretty bad on this on this map. Oh, uh, actually, of... this map, he's pretty good. You think so? Yeah. I, I feel like it's hard to get that 10% on the 10 move. Because uh, the, the, uh, the you desert would... land is kind of... No, injured. you would think that. But surprisingly, this map has a lot of defensive terrains. And also, there are actually a lot of okay terrains. He gets a lot of uh... movement on this map. Uh, I feel like there's a lot of choke points, too. So it's easy to just dodge a... Um... So, you have to either move up or down. You can't go through the middle. But he gets a lot of movement going top or bottom. But let's see. Um, 
he so brought he Warner back. Like he believes, he believes that uh, this is a good map for Warner. Okay. Yeah. Let's see how this pairs out. Mm-hmm. First man is Rosen. Yeah, because uh, I didn't ban Warner on this map like twice, and I had trouble dealing with Warner on this map. Both games. He gets a lot of movement, surprisingly. Yeah, I mean, pretty typical bans here. Is that? Oh. Yeah, Rosencio. And Rosencio, right? Okay. So, I mean, it makes sense for okay. Lumiere. Yeah. Because he's probably just going to go for AoEs here. So, he wants to ban Juggler if he wants to. Juggler bans probably the best because SEO is going to pick up a tank. Uh, if Himiko picks against Hilda, I'm, I'm huge. I'm, I really don't think that this is a good ban. If you want to ban out Himiko, yeah, it's uh, not. Maybe you ban out Himiko if your healers are banned. Maybe yep, you can do that. Yep, yep. But he has options to pick up a healer, and even like a like it's not even that bad picking up a uh, Florentia here. So I don't even feel that Himiko ban is e even worthwhile. Yeah, you're exactly right. If you have a healer. And Hilda, Himiko is not very hard to deal with. I mean, yeah. if you give them too much AoE, of course it's gonna be hard to deal with. But Himiko alone, not gonna do too much if you have a healer and Hilda. So, yeah. so I feel like Himiko should be in boxes that first ban Hilda. Um, if you're planning to AoE strike. That's fair. Uh, other otherwise, I, I don't feel like it's even a good option. Might as well pick up uh, someone else, maybe like a actual assassin. Yeah, I mean that's fair. It's going to be ignored for uh, quite a long time. Well, now that he has burned though, Himiko's not too bad. So if you get something like Himiko, Ares, it's, it's pretty annoying to deal with. It doesn't matter if you don't have enough healing. Um, let's see though, let's see what he bans. Let's see how this change something for his Licorice here, let's see. Uh... Forget what it was. Yeah, I wasn't here at all. I'm not sure what was swapped out. Oh. Ares ban, I think, is okay. But then, if he he does have to ban Ares if he picks up something like Juggler. So the bans he doesn't need to worry about right now is Elwin, Odius. What, you mean uh, Lumiere doesn't need to care about Elwin and Odius? For now, yeah. Yeah, you can definitely ignore Elwin. I'm not a big fan of Elwin as a cavalry class uh, when you don't first ban Hilda. Even if you do first ban Hilda, he seems kind of awkward regardless. He's good for the faction buff, but I'm using an infantry El Elwin right now. <laughs> of course you are. So the good thing about Elwin is he has a revive, so he's safe to go in and initiate and dispel yeah. five buffs. So that's yeah. why he's good. His movement's good. And as long as, I mean, you can also BP to your favor and use him well. So Kev is okay. Kev is good. I mean, it'll be, it'll be pretty, sure. it'll be pretty broken if he wasn't Kev, to be honest. Mm -hmm. Okay, I can agree with that. Okay, liquors. Interesting. Um, it's it's pretty interesting because Lumiere went pretty offensive game one. He didn't pick a healer. I mean, he didn't pick up a tank. But this game is very defensive, huh? Two healers. Hmm. And maybe he's gonna pick up Liana too. Yeah, he might just pick up. Uh, this you know, might just like stall. Um, that this Warner pick's good. Uh, I, I like it. Yeah, Warner um, pick. Even good. even the oldest pick is good too, because you can push them out and win the stall game. Because it seems like SEL is not gonna stall. You think so? Yeah. I mean, Lumiere is ready to stall. If you picked up Liana, that's that's the stall box. The stall. Um, 
And you know, picking a Liana would have been okay too. You have two act against, and you were gonna get a either Warner, Burn, or Odious, right? Because you have three DPS picks left, and I think it would have been okay if you picked up Liana. And if you had Liana, you're pretty much protected from everything, all the debuffs, heal blocks. You have two mass protect, so either you know can bring one. So I think Liana pick would have been really good instead of Warner actually, because if you're pretty much protected from everything. You have three healers. Um, you think, have you thought about Warner actually trying to kill Burn? Through, um, um yeah, I don't think you can. One? Not through, through uh, Werewolves. Uh, uh, is he gonna, uh, I'm, I'm assuming he's bringing the Colossus or something like that. Oh, against um, Werewolves, but... he can't even kill though. So, really? Mm -hmm. he, he's just too tanky. Werewolves are too tanky. And you're also getting the minus 15% attack, so that's not helping. But you can definitely kill if you kill like 7 soldiers, and then just follow up. You can definitely kill uh -huh. that way. But also that tanky? What's that? Yeah, he's, he's really tanky. tanky? Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, he's tanky. Interesting. Uh, I haven't actually tried uh, Warner trying to kill Burn. I feel like it should be possible. Uh, I mean, Warner misses a lot of kills in general, so he's not really reliable. He's it's just not a very conventional assassin because a lot of the assassin targets are actually have Lancer troops. Yep, yep. He's really, really awkward. That's so he's, uh, he's not an actual assassin. Uh, he's um, he can be, but it really depends on who you're trying to assassinate. Yeah, it's mostly controlling the zone control, and you can also support by giving movement. And there's there's always going to be one or two targets that you can't kill in any given game, most likely. Even if your opponent tries to counter, there's going to be at least one or two that you you can kill. So that's not the worst. He's pretty good in most maps. So who, who's uh, Warner going to try to kill this time? Um, um, there's Liquorous, right? Does Liquorous have Lancer? Uh, I have no idea, but I, I like should have it. But uh, I'm assuming not. I'm assuming most not. of Dark Mages do, but I've never seen Liquorous with Lancer troops, so I'm assuming no. Oh, does Lana have a Holy class? Lana, yes. He does? Okay. Maybe, maybe Liquorous has one. I'm not exactly too sure. I've actually never thought about actually bringing Lancer troops on her. So there are two targets. You can kill Liana and Lickers. Definitely okay. It should be easy kills here. It is Bracers. And but it doesn't matter, right? Because it's um mage mage unit. Mage soldiers. Yeah. Oh, oh I think that uh, I still feel like Warner is going to be have a hard time even trying to get that 10 range. There's so many choke points, and and SEL has two tanks, so I think it's going to be tough no, no, to kill. No, no. I I'm checking chat. Uh, I, I I've been reading what you're saying, by the way, because they're saying I'm not checking the chat. I'm actually reading everything. But that's interesting, right? It's a mage liquors, by the way. It's not holy. There's a mage licorice? Uh, oh, no, no, demon. never mind. Sorry, sorry. There's only demon and... Uh, <laughs> what's the other one? Uh, holy. I mean, it's mage troops and holy uh, licorice, so you can definitely kill with Twilight. Was, what is it? Licorice gets fixed immunity on... like, forest or something? That's the thing? I don't know. I, I thought only the helm gives you um, that option. Or brazier. Moral light? So the if you use Moral Light, it's really easy to check because it's gonna show one revive on your unit. So it's really easy to tell if your opponent's using Moral Light. That I think shouldn't be there for mind game purpose, but it's there. It's really easy to tell. Uh, you, uh, how do you tell if Moral Light's um, on them? All I can think of is that they're not using Tenyo, but they could be just uh, be using like a Sage Hat. I mean, like a, I guess an HP Hat or something like that. Mm -hmm. 
it, it can be kind of tricky. But I guess if you're not seeing Tenyo, there aren't much other options. You can see the Yig, Yig hat, you can see Sage hat. Um, what other hats are there for, for mages? Um, so Tenyo, Mortal Light are probably two of the best, in my opinion. You get 10% HP. Um, there's not that many HP hats. There is the the the, the Sage hat that's SSR, right? Yeah, okay. yeah, and that's it. For should be that's it for HP. There is Tiara. Yeah, for, no, it's Tiara. Yeah, Tiara. No, but regardless, then it should kill um, even if it's full HP or not. Mm hmm. Yeah, this one should be interesting. I kind of scared for Lumiere just because there's so many debuffs. But at the same time, he has some ways to deal with them. I just think he would have just won automatically if he picked up Liana fourth and then picked up any kind of damage as a fifth pick. Because he has. Does Burn, do that? does Burn do that well against Hilda? Burn does pretty well against Hilda, yeah. But you could go Calf. But if you're Lancer, your Hilda's just gonna get one shot almost. Uh, I'm not sure why Lumiere didn't ban the Hilda though. It makes this ODS very, very awkward. And someone said Glory of the World is 10% too. I don't know what that is. What is that? And that's a, the, the fixed damage hat. Oh, that's that's the Moral Light, isn't it? Uh, I'm not sure what the translation, but maybe you're talking about the proc when it activates and the actual name itself. Oh, uh, maybe. Okay, so Witch's Reminiscence is also 10%. You know, that hat that protects you yeah. from the... Uh... Uh, you can see that pretty obviously though, because it's like Sage Hat. Yeah, yeah it's, it's like a oh, Sage yeah. Hat that protects you from Curse of Wounding. That nobody you uses. Mm -hmm. uh, I use it um, if I don't have any tenuals. <laughs> yeah, use HP yeah, hat yeah. after all. I'd rather use a sage hat, the SSR sage hat, over that one. Yeah, maybe. Uh, I feel like it's not very useful if your tanks are held on Envious of Overlord Badge. Yeah, I mean, I think this could go both ways. He just needs to wait in the back with the Swarner. And who do you think is a better target to kill, though? Licorice or Liana? Uh, I try to kill the, the Liana. Okay. Because uh, you have you have Licorice of yourself and you have Moldius, so you have two tiles, two tile creating effects while your opponent only has one. Yeah, that's fair. So I, I think that should be that should do quite well. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, I mean, if you look at his range, though, you see it now, right? Werner has a really good range. Uh, I'm not actually not seeing it. Okay. Uh, but I'm assuming you can pass those he, two he, tiles. He, Liana's in reach right now. No, really? Mm-hmm. He can just move a little bit, and he should be out of the 10, ten attack range, right? Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10... Yeah, maybe. I don't think it's safe though. I don't think that spot is safe. Actually, you could he could reach ten spots. Yeah, your Werner's really good um, for the, the time debuff. Your opponent has to count tiles. So, this is interesting because he moved his burn to block rather than moving Liana back. So, pretty smart. Now, I'm not sure why Lumiere brought uh, Templars. I feel like Royal Cows is just better in every scenario. Templars do better against demons. They get uh, when fighting against demons, they get increased attack and defense. That's why. But I think I feel like 45% reduction is better than. Oh uh, yeah, arguably yeah. Arguably. And they're also probably quite good against Lancer troops too. Well, Burn does get a lot of damage buff, so maybe it doesn't really matter. Uh, I mean, even if you do get a high defense buff, 
I feel like the werewolves should trade quite evenly. Okay, if I remember correctly, this was a range sword, so they're all in range, except for Florentia. Yeah, so he's just gonna go in because Burn's ready. Um, Himoku can go in now, so yeah, I think moving back liquor is probably the best choice, right? You can't, might as well just put down the hill tower too. Yeah, next turn you're probably gonna 3C. Yeah, because I mean, fighting's already happening, so there's no reason to see. Yeah, this is not bad. I should test out uh, how well Hilda does against Calvary Elwin. Um Because if Calvary Hilda does well against um, Calvary Elwin, maybe she should, everyone should just bring Calvary. Because of all these burns lying around. Everybody already uses Calvary Elwin. You're the only one who uses Infantry Elwin. Nah, I'm, I'm talking about like. Um, oh, you're talking about Hilda? Calvary. Okay. Yeah, Hilda. Yeah, I was thinking about that too. Um, Hilda does get more attack. Um, I don't know how the movement changes actually. It should be 5-5 five, five, uh, depending on your troops. But Either if you change to Lancers, does your movement actually count as Lancers? Uh, it shouldn't because otherwise if you change the Calvary, your, your uh, movement should be moved put to 5. And that's not the case for Hilda here. Yeah. Okay, so you could just mass heal here. Both team used act again. And if you don't want to deal with that Himiko, you can just send her back. Now, burn is in range for every. This is tricky. This is a tricky turn. Because Burn can just one shot the liquors, I think. Yeah, probably. Um, so yeah, maybe transform three C. Uh, this Burn probably kills a Warner too, right? So there's two. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah there, that's why Warner. I mean, that's why three C try to yeah try to debuff Burn, also deal damage so that Warner doesn't die the best chance you have here. I'm not sure if Hilda used guard. Oh, Silence too. Which doesn't really matter because he already used this spell. Mm -hmm. But now this burn can actually die from the Warner. Um, the uh, Warner potentially, yeah. yeah, Potentially, yeah. Uh, I feel like that should be an easy kill. Yeah, yeah it should be because he, he's attacking first. Okay, but he's going to heal up this burn. And clocks too, which is quite nice. He still has 3C. He can't reach so, them. Do uh, you think this Hilda attack would kill? Hilda attack would kill what? The burn. Um, Hilda attack is just way it's, too low though. It's a double advantage though. I think it's risky. And the defense is not particularly great. Probably a, like a full moon one. Uh, it is risky because your cavalry debuff can get knocked off, but... This, uh, I'm not sure if it would kill, but if, if it's quite interesting. I forget how much a cavalry bonus against infantry is. Yeah, I'm not too sure. Maybe 30? Probably like 30. Mm -hmm. Besides, uh, did, uh, he didn't transform, right? Did he transform to Cav? Yeah, he'll just Cav right now. Sure? Yeah, hey, he's Cav right now. Okay. Oh, that's actually uh, uh, pretty decent damage. Not too bad. And you kill all the the ropes because they're weak to holy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And well, some of them heal back, so I think like twenty percent heal back after battle. Okay, so now this Warner can kill the burn now. Well, burn is probably gonna move back. Yeah, let me count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, uh, one thing to mention: ten. this Himiko can just kill this Warner though. With auto attack, right? Oh, okay. 
Because you can Maybe. pass through. Uh, I'm not sure if uh, that's pretty decently strong, so it should be a yeah, kill. Yeah, it should be a kill. So you have to heal up Werner or send her back. Even if you send her back, she can come back and kill Werner, though. But if she, oh. if you send her back and comes back, then you can probably kill her. So um, let's see what he does. Maybe attack and just kill up. No, you know what you can do. Or what he should have done here is maybe use 3C so he can act again, Liquors or something. But then when did your winner die? Uh, you can't 3C at the winner and the. Well, I mean, 3C is gonna damage Himiko soldiers though, so it's gonna lower. Also, gonna give some kind of debuff on Himiko. I feel like that would still kill. Okay. Because um, uh, the mechanical knights are really, really weak. Yeah. Um, Defense-wise. Even now, I think Warner could die, to be honest. Yeah. Which could yeah. be good because Himiko could potentially die next turn if he did that. Because he no, no longer has the talent. We'll see. Well, he definitely move Yeah, the... he is going to go for it. Nope. Are they no damage. <laughs> Himiko is also very weak. <laughs> they did no damage. <laughs> they did actually no damage. Uh, you only took like six troops out. Yeah. Himiko so is... this Himiko should be, should be dead, right? It's just that he doesn't really have that many like single target choices that can kill Himiko right now, so... Probably not dead. Um... Okay, so here just remove the Hilda and then plan the, um, the Werner next turn. Or a kill on um, yeah just guard with Hilda and then yeah maybe what? even defensive stance and then attack yeah you can heal up but I still don't know if that's a kill right do you think uh, it'll it's kill not, it's not last right so I think it'll kill I, I, just imagine like a, uh, a Leon attacking uh, a half dead Leon attacking a um, a non last rights unit I don't know. Leon's pretty strong. Warner's not that strong. His attack's not there. I mean, he even as a faction boss and whatnot. So I, I think I think he should be fine. Yeah, killing Himiko is actually big. So yeah, um, and this Liquors did not clock, so which is very good. Burn also used up his. What's it called? The, the Liquors did clock on SCL side. Oh, he did. Oh, uh -huh. that's very good then. So. Defensive stance and attack, I guess. I'm not sure. You have to count this out, though. Just yeah. a little bit. I'm not the sure. The burns will get healed up this turn, so dealing burn is definitely not going to die. And you, mm -hmm. I don't know if you can kill the licorice. Um, I'm not even sure if you want to kill the licorice either. No, uh, you're not you, going to kill right now. You're not going. Licorice is tanky. You're definitely not going to kill. You have to Defensive go for him to go. Yeah. Okay, and then. Maybe this kills. Even if this does not kill, um, I feel like um, uh, like a mass heal AOE from uh, Licorice might be able to kill, or something like that. Mm, yeah, Maybe potentially, because right. she has to run back right after. So we'll see. We'll see um, uh, if this. Kills. Uh, I feel like this should kill. Uh, you have tech from the. But he's not even thinking. Uh, he, 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 he really is think thinking about, about it. it. Yeah, he is thinking about it. Definitely the plan. I, I, I think make. I think this should kill. Yeah, it's, that... it's, it's half soldiers and no last rights. I think this should kill. This is a. Uh, well, he has times. twilight anyway, so yeah. yeah. This is like nine hundred times. Yep. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh one <H> <laughs> percent. But this is why you run the like arcane battle card uh, on your uh, winner. Because uh, that, that actually could have killed. And... No, 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 no. You. Now he's in kind of danger zone, right? From Liquor's 3C um... killing. Damn, that sucks. No, well, never well, mind. He heals uh, back. Okay. The, the defensive stance uh, actually lasts two turns, so. Okay. He okay, up. okay, okay. So, and okay, but, um, Himiko can move Florentia back. Has, Florentia has a 3C, right? So this Himiko should be dead. Oh, Himiko is dead. Cannot get in guard range. Um, he can 3C with Licorice to heal up, but I think... Uh, I think an attack from... Attack from Odius uh, is enough, yeah. 
Yeah, Olio is actually decently uh, offensive. Yep. Oh, and he's nearby uh, allies, mm -hmm. especially against uh, like a half dead uh, unit. Should be should be able to get some kills. Yeah, Warner actually doing work. I mean, killing Himiko is huge in this game. Himiko was like the one problem that you had to deal with here, and not losing any units. And if you can keep your Warner alive, it could be very good for Lumiere. Okay, so. Oh, very smart. But Lickers can mass heal. Oh, never mind. Healed enough. But Lickers can reach, right? Yeah. She's breezed. There's a lot of things that she kill here. Uh, I'm not sure if this. Oh, uh, yeah, C the 3C kill. is risky. I think you have to use Lickers. But if you lose use Lickers, yeah, Burn can attack Lickers. That's why he's hesitating. I feel like uh, maybe this. Wow, that's. Yeah. Um, but you have to kill the Hemiko this turn, so. I wouldn't move Hilda. I would definitely use Lickers, I think. Why not use the uh, Moldius? Moldius is sealed. Kill? Sealed. It's normal attack. No, no, no. If you seal, you cannot attack or use skills. But you can't move. Oh, really? Yep. Yep. I thought you just can't use skills. No, no, no. It's, it's, you cannot attack or use skills. Oh, okay. So uh, I would. Oh, so uh, he's try to get. Is that move on top of kill? move on top of um, Hilda, because you're out of the debuff. Actually, you don't debuff. In, so it doesn't really matter. Never mind. So yeah, I think three C is your best bet. Uh, I don't know if it's a kill, well, but I feel like. I mean, if you want to keep your units alive, yeah, this is the best bet. Oh, it kills. Perfect. And uh, your units sure. are healthy. I think it maybe did a little bit extra, but you can definitely calculate that. Now, that's a very easy math to calculate if you have time. And yeah. maybe that's what Lumira did. <laughs> uh, I don't know if that's what he did. I thought you just hope, but you can, that's easy to calculate. Because uh, I, I assume uh, Himiko has no AoE um, reduction. And it just has it's just basic math. Like, you know, maybe a thousand minus. 300 times um, 0.3. Yeah, run back his Warner. He still has turn prior, right? Because he moved Himiko. So he still has turn prior. Oh, he acted again. Okay. Uh, what the hell? <laughs> See that message? Yeah, he's, 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 uh, he's uh, streaming from his phone. So. <laughs> well, I didn't uh, see the message. What did it say? It says, Oni chan ga ban ganbante or something. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Um, this could get dangerous because he lost turn prior though, because now he can send his uh, burn up and try to kill, which is a possibility. So, yeah, I mean, why not move Oldius right now, right? Might as well. Well, he's gonna heal up because he's afraid that Burn's gonna one shot this Hilda. Uh, can um, what should we call it? Can can ceiling technique be dispelled? No. It's on, it's, think about it this way. It's basically sleep, but weaker sleep. I guess it dispels, and also your unit can't do anything, but you can't move. So it's like a nerfed sleep, pretty much. Yeah. It's a sleep that makes you, allows you to move. Oh, another clock. Yeah. Maybe it's not over yet. Uh, SCL's pretty lucky. Hey, he can't attack, okay. It lasts one turn or two turns? What does? Ceiling technique. Yeah, uh, one turn. It's, it's exactly like sleep, so... He could okay. push next turn. Um, Well, no, not push, push but... Anything, yeah, yeah, it just damages, but... He could send his Warner up. I mean, uh, send his Burn up, try to kill this Warner. I think it's possible. Pretty squishy unit. That's so can okay. this Warner uh, hit uh, Licorice next turn, for example? He, is he on defense or a speed stance? I he, forget. Uh, actually, didn't pay attention. And plus, she should save it. One, two, three. Uh, yeah, 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 Burn also attacked on the forest tile, I think. That is a forest tile, I believe. Kind of hard to see, but I think that's a forest tile that he attacked from. Well, I think 
I feel that might die from the fixed damage. One line. That'll be problematic. 1.2. No, it's, she's not. Oh, what is he healing from? Oh, I don't know. I guess, like, it must be like a 10 20%. Yeah, must be a 10 okay. This is nice. Actually kills Lickers. Yeah, I think SCL wins this. And to be honest, I think he wins it because of Lickers' clock there. Yeah, he clocked two or three times. He clocked twice, but the, sec the first clock was just crucial. Yeah, kind of lucky. Mm -hmm. Yeah, should be GG though. There's not much he can do now. Because now you're getting double countered by this Hilda. So Hilda can just punch the other Hilda, so... And Warner obviously cannot ignore Guard anymore. Yeah, uh, Warner kind of sucks when the map's this mm -hmm. narrow. And yeah, he's, he's, he's positioning his units so that Hilda can guard everyone too next turn. So Liana's gonna go one below burn and one right. And Hilda's just gonna go up there. So he has to lose. He's probably gonna use Liana now. Yep. Act again. That's painful. Yep, that's why I said if he picked up Liana instead of Warner, he was gonna get either Warner, Odious, I think it was like Elwin or something. He, he would still have two DPS and he'll be safe from everything. I think it's, it was just a much better choice. Mm, I feel like Gloomery should just ban Hilda though. Uh, it feels really sad that your Modius pretty much does nothing at all. And what did Modius do this game about, about access to push? Well, it's because most of his units are AoE based and you don't want to give Juggler. Probably. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, SEL picked up the Hilda like pick four. Oh, was it? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, he wasn't banning any tanks. Okay. okay. This should kill, I think. No, I don't think so. Maybe not anymore, but. Yeah, not even close. Okay. Yeah, I, I have no idea anything about uh, Warner's kill potential. Yeah, I mean, if you just look at the attack, it's just attacks too low. We're not gonna kill. Did you? Get... Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, uh, the the Hilda, I feel like, is the, the biggest problem. Uh, you even combo like uh, Warner push. I mean, with uh, Warner. Uh, ten tiles with uh, the push. So I feel like um, just not banning the Hildas makes your Moldius really weak. Yeah, that's why he picked them up pretty late. It was the last pick. Yeah, with Hilda, you don't really care about Oldius that much. Especially these days, there's not that many units that you can counter with Oldius. There's Ares and Ellen. That's pretty much it in, for most boxes. I feel like it's just mostly for the the range damage down, the crit chance down. That's yeah, pretty much that, what he that does. is also good. Yep, faction buff, his aura is good. Yeah, and... He's just annoying because uh, he has two lives. Mm -hmm. um, yep, yep. But other than that, um, yeah. I feel like you should ban Hilda because you lose one of your most um, powerful options, which is just to uh, push out your opponent uh, with uh, Hilda on your opponent's side. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's definitely strong, and I mean, he, he's never bad in any kind of composition, for sure. Oh, well, he is? No, yeah. he's just gonna quit, okay. Yeah. yeah. Entertaining that, games, wow. though. Wild games. So, 2-1, pretty close. SCL now goes to top 16, not TSDL. Yep. Um...
let's see today there is a game at 9 p.m server time which is uh 10 p.m est when the uh second jb starts so hope you guys tune in this situation versus uh less on install should be fun okay uh let's who's let's on install again is that, is that um... the the last legend also known okay. as the legend himself. Okay. Uh, people keep on changing the names so often. I don't know who's who anymore. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you guys for watching. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later. All right, see you guys.